Back to the drawing board, I guess. Yeah, I got the mini rigger out here today. Gonna do a little bit of uh, testing. I just uh, put a little bit more down angle on my strut. Hope you guys can see that. See, I got a little down angle on the strut, like a couple of my subscribers mentioned. And I also wet sanded my carbon fiber turn fin, sharpened it up oh, like super sharp. Uh, before it was a little dull. I sanded my sponsons down. All right, I sanded the sponsons down flat. I've got a 38 millimeter propeller on here and I kind of, I've got my CG right behind the turn fin. All right, so let's give it a rip. Let's see what happens. Let me get it turned. Let's see, is this steering? Alright. Still bouncing. Oh, nice. Okay. So when she's planed out, she's she actually runs good. Wanting to, wanting to veer to the left. Let's let the ripple cool down. Let's get a pass in. Good deal. Plenty of cooling coming out. Oh yeah. Left turn. Oh, nice and smooth. Bouncing on the, on the, like when I start, start up. Uh oh, it just died. Plenty of cooling coming out. Oh, it just died. At that moment, he knew. Man, this boat right here has given me a headache. I messed up another ESC. I've had it with this boat. Oh, something's smoking. What the hell? The motor. Oh, the motor shot. Woo, look at that. Watch this. Watch this, y'all. It's water cooled now. <laughs> I know that motor's over 200 degrees, at least 200 degrees. So it wasn't the ESC this time, it's the motor. Jeez. I swear, man, I have the worst luck with this boat. It's the one boat I can't get tuned right. It was actually running pretty good. Um, oh, man. It's actually running pretty good. And the ESC is nice and cool, okay? Now, yes, I know, I know. I should have made a water-cooled motor mount. Um, or just run the boat on 2S instead of putting 3S in it. This boat has given me nothing but a headache. <laughs> it's been a fun headache, and I've actually got it running right now. Um, I've cut the weight down on this boat, like, quite a bit, quite a bit. I can't believe I just blew the motor up. Jeez. Let's see if it's let's see if it'll turn back on. <laughs> just curious. Oh, oh, oh. It's shot. Uh. 
You hear it? Oh! You hear it? Oh! <laughs> yep, yeah, she shot. Back to the drawing board, I guess. Yeah, I just got back to the shop. Um, just kind of looking at the boat here. Uh, check out the wires. Look how bad they are. I, I guess they weren't that bad. You know, when I plugged it in the second time and let it smoke there, that's when the wires uh, got smoked, basically. But um, the ESC's good. I hooked up this 3650. The ESC's good. I wish I could put this motor in it, but it, it won't fit. It won't fit. And I don't have any extra motors this size to um, to put in the boat. So I, I think I may go with like a Leopard Hobby, like a 2840 or 2850 for this boat. Something light, in-runner, powerful. Because it's really not set up for an, an outrunner motor because I don't have a water-cooled motor mount. Um, if you're going to run an outrunner in a boat, you should use water cooling you know like I was saying this boat was really um, you know these mini riggers you could run a mini rigger with an outrunner motor with these cooling fins on it um, on 2s you know on 2s a lot of times you can run them like Kip's mini rigger you could run a boat like that on 2s I've run this boat uh, several times I've run two sets of 3s packs through the boat bone dry in there and the motor not heat up like it did today yeah. i would say it is toast <laughs> i've never ever ever heated a motor up that bad ever <laughs> that's definitely a first i mean i've gotten motors hot but i've never heated them up so bad that it turned the wines black look at the magnets Jeez. <laughs> uh, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> I've got quite a bit of angle on my on my strut, okay? And it may have been like digging that front end in so much, causing a lot of like drag, you know? Um like I said, you, these motors can be run on 2S in a mini rigger without water cooling i've even run 4s through this boat a whole 4s pack without it heating up so something i did uh caused this motor to blow up whether it's the extreme well not extreme but the extra angle down you know uh just putting extra drag extra pressure on the motor that might have done it that's why i only do one or two little modifications at a time with the boat um so so i'll know if you know what it's doing if it rode better or worse i'll know um but it was actually running good i'm gonna get a little 2840 or something to throw in it 2850 or something like that and um yeah yeah i appreciate you guys watching um it's a bummer it blew up but hey um it's learned like i said it's a learning experience uh, i should have put the water cooled mount on and that's my fault. That's my fault. That's my bad. You know. But uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, Big B here with Ironclad RC.